and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be doing a comparison between the Morph Gauntlet add-on and the Morph add-on. Uh, so... Uh... Hold on, is it actually... Um... But yeah, uh, if you haven't seen it, I have done a review of the Morph Gauntlet add-on like ages ago when they got an update to after that, to add uh, some new morphs, such as the Armadillo. And then recently the morph add-on was released. Uh, now, my main crit criticisms of the morph gauntlet add-on is that uh, you don't change your size uh, when you morph, which would be really cool. And apparently, oh, at least according to... Uh, an add-on creator that I've been talking to, the guy who makes essentials, it should be possible to do that to, as right now, so... Yeah, so let me just show off the Morph Gauntlet. So basically, you shift, right, to uh, shift interact, and you have a list of all the different Morphs that uh, you've unlocked. Uh, to unlock them, you just need to encounter them in the... Uh, in the wild, and each one will have different abilities. So, the Alay can fly, the Armadillo, it has resistance and regeneration. And I'm in creative. In zero. Uh, the, and like on dead mobs, uh, if I can find one, I like crown, bin during the day. So let's take a look at the Morph book. So we have a Morph Bracelet instead of a Gauntlet. Uh, step 1, craft the Morph Bracelet. Well, it gave me one, so I don't need to craft it. But it's far cheap. This is actually much cheaper than the Morph Gauntlet, because the Morph Gauntlet uses diamonds. Once a Morph bra Bracelet interface uh, with Shift right click, Shift plus right click slash hold click and select the mob you want to morph into. To fly, look up, uh, look down uh, to land. So, shift right click. So, join Discord player. So, uh, you all, you need to kill them to unlock their morph. Um. Not all morphs have abilities, and it doesn't tell you what abilities any of them have. So let's go down the list here. So first up is the Alay. So some I'll summon Alay. Let me just get my arm. So I can one shot it. There we go. Killed an Alay. Now we can transform into an Alay. Oh, okay, so there is a, a small problem with the Morph Gauntlet add-on in that uh, to Morph, it gives you like a helmet that uh, makes you look like the uh, that look like the mob and it gives you invisibility. Uh, so, look up to fly. Look down to go down. Yeah, not too bad. Not I prefer the uh, Morph Gauntlet's flight, so if I just transform back to human in this, and I can uh, demonstrate how the Morph Gauntlet's flight works. So, switch back to player, so now I'm human. But if we go here, uh, Alay, you just press and hold spacebar to go up. You let go to go down. Uh, and different that uh, morphs have different flying speeds, so like bats, the bat is faster than the LA, and the Ender Dragon is faster than the bat. Also, the morph only has favorites, so you can select a favorite and add it to here. Uh, shift right click, so next up is the Armadillo. Some arm. I'm a dilu. Bonk. I'm a dilu. The armadillo gives you slowness. Oh, I'm 
wait for the effects to wear off. There we go. Gives you slowness, and that's it. Makes it slow. And also, the armadillo should be one block tall. By the looks, but by the looks of it, it does not. This add-on also, yeah, this add-on also does not make you one block tall. Again, that was uh, my biggest complaint about the morph gauntlet, and they've not fixed it here, which is disappointing to say the least. Uh, next up is the Axolotl. Axolotl. Bonk. So let's take the arm off again. Shift right click, Axolotl. Oh, so this is cool. You get to choose uh, which one you want to chat someone to, but you have to kill that colour to unlock it. Gold Axolotl. You get slowness and water beam. Now you assume that it's slowness because I'm outside of water. If I was inside water right now, I would not have slowness. Probably. Next up is the B. Some B. Oh, wait, is there not a bat morph? Yeah, there's a B morph. Is there not a bat morph? Where'd the bat go? There it is. Come here, you. Yeah, there's not a bat morph. Huh. That's an odd one to miss out. Yeah, uh, let me just get rid of my armor. Walk up to fly up. Yeah, invisibility and the floating. Yeah, so you don't get any special... Well, actually, maybe if I punch a uh, vi villager, they might punch something, they might get poisoned, because that's what the uh, morph probably did. Nope. You don't poison things when you hit them, which uh, does happen with the morph gun. Let me just uh, uh, demonstrate that real quickly. If I go to B, punch this guy. There you go. You can see he's get he's been poisoned. All right, next up is the blaze. Let me get my arm on. Some balaz. Boom. Blaze can fly and it gives you fire resistance. for them to wear off. Yeah, so it just gives you fire resistance and nothing else. Oh, if you right click you can shoot fireballs. I've not tried right clicking or anything else. Oh, and you also get fire resistance. And these don't do damage which is a good thing because I hate it when they Mob effects do damage. Uh, a lay, if I right click with a lay, it does nothing. Armadillo, right click with armadillo, it does nothing. Axolotl, right click with the axolotl, and it does nothing. B, right click with B. Hmm. Maybe if I right click on one. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. So next up is camel. Um, um, come on. Camel. So you got camel, camel jockey, and camel jockey. So there's a piglin, a zombie pigman, camel jockey, and a zombie camel jockey. 
don't know how... Did they spawn? I didn't need... No, they could spawn. Uh, wait, no, what? I need... So if I right click, I do a dash. More dash. And it just and it doesn't give you doesn't do anything else, just gives you a small dash. And you right click. Next up is chicken. Chicken. Bonk. I might as well just kill the sheep while I'm here. And the rabbit. Uh, there we go into game mode. Uh, not game mode. I need to right, just right click. So yeah, chicken, I guess all the chicken does is give you slow falling. Oh no! Doesn't even give you slow falling. Can't fly. Like, why does a chicken not have slow falling? Now, that is a uh, one that defining trait is that chickens fall slowly. Like, come on! What? And you could let me shoot an egg, maybe, if I when I right click. Like, come on. Here, yeah, do I see a cow? Somehow, bonk. All right, so cow. There's got cow, red mushroom, and brown mushroom. I'm a cow. There you go. On uh, E F F E effect S P poi poison twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. Now uh, with the uh, morph gauntlet, with the morph gauntlet cow, uh, cow. Oh, no. Bugged out. There we go. So, uh, go to cow. And I poison myself again. And right click, it cures the poison. Also, did I, I forgot to transform back to human on here. See me. Um. So yeah, uh, the morph corner cow is better than the morph cow, morph ring cow. Next up is the creeper, and I'm guessing this explodes. Some three. And now if I go somewhere where I don't want, don't care if it gets blown up. Ah, and you can also transform into a charge creeper. All right. Mm. Bonk. 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 Uh. Bonk. No, they didn't get out more for that one. So if I take the armor off and I wait for the steer away. Oh there's a cave down there. And I right click. 
Oh, that's cool. So it doesn't actually do terrain damage. So you don't have to worry about blowing up your own base. Which is nice. So in my opinion, I just play above the more Gauntlet Creeper explosion because it does uh, do damage to your surroundings. But can how much damage does it do to that like, entity? So if I go up to this bunny and I blow it up. Okay, I did kill the bunny. What about this goat? It doesn't kill the goat, so it's not super powerful. Next up is the dolphin. Some doll. Boom. Dolphin. Yeah, I can't survive on land because I'm a dolphin. Yeah, it's not giving me water breathing. I thought it would at least give me water breathing. Am I going to water? No, oh, just giving me invisibility. Okay, that's not very good. Also, I've got a bunch of these guys. Ah. Uh, what was that? Oh, it was one of these things. Probably. Anyway, I'm going to turn back to you before I drown on land. And I'll just stick them in there. Alright, let's go kill an ender dragon. So I saw that one was next. I think the dolphin should give you conduit power. What about the flying on the suit? Alright, some and uh, dragon. Get yeah, back here, you. Get yeah. you, coward. Go kill the ender dragon and lock the new more. This enemy wants to fight. Alright, so now that we got the ender dragon morph unlocked. What? There we go. What? I have. Oh, god damn it, it's happening again. Okay, let's try... I think it's inventory lag. I think if I just leave and go back in, it should be fine. Yeah, man. So far, so far, my opinion of this morph add-on is that it. Oh, that's right. There's ender pills in my inventory. Do you know about? Okay, so so far, this add-on has been unimpressive. Like, it's done a couple of things so far. Okay, how's the flying with the end? Oh, it is quite slow. It's done some things better and it's done some things worse than, worse than the morph form. Oh my god, this is slow. Uh, let's just compare the... Oh, hold on then. Can I... If I right-click... 
Okay. Oh my. Right, so let's just compare this to the Morph Gauntlet Ender Dragon transformation. So I right click it and it does a much bigger explosion and it doesn't do the fire at these dragon's breath. Not only that, but I fly way faster when I'm sprinting. Right, this is way better and uh, it's fair to have the Ender Dragon not be this fast and this powerful because it is literally the end game boss fight, like it's the finest uh, the Ender Dragon transformation being more powerful. Um, but the uh, the morph bracelet one there, uh, that's just there's no real reason why I'd want to go to the end to actually kill the Ender Dragon if the morph if the morph is just <coughs> that bad. So now I'm in the Enderman. If I right click, nothing happens, and yeah, this is pointless. Like at least you could like have it so that you teleport to where when you right click you teleport to where you right click. Song on Ender Knight. Alright, let's take a look at the Endermite. I get night vision. Yeah, pointless. Man, you, well, man, you, you're not really gonna be going out of your way to get kill an Endermite for this. Uh, Fox. Fox. Alright, uh, fox, 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 here we go. Uh, it can be a regular fox or an arctic fox. Right click does nothing and all you get is a bit of speed. What speed is that? Speed... Doesn't really say what. So I guess it's just speed 1, by the looks of it. Next up is the frog. Like right I can do something. You get jump, you get jump boost, slowness, and water breathing. Yay! Can you jump up four blocks? Nope. Can you jump up three blocks? Yep. At least you can jump up three blocks. That is like the bare minimum. Like if you, uh, I always say this, and I will repeat this multiple times. If you are making an add-on and uh, you have an item that gives you jump boost, if it doesn't let you jump up three blocks, then it's pointless. You might as well just not have it not give you jump boost. Uh, ghast. Yeah, we go. Got it. Uh, ghast. You can, you can fly. Uh, let me just eat this. You can right click to shoot a fireball, that doesn't do terrain damage. Doesn't really do any AoE, you have to like hit them right. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, this isn't a very good ghast. It's hard to aim and it, uh, it doesn't really, and, and it doesn't do much damage. You can't unmorph while flying, well that's... I'm not flying. There we go. I am not flying. I am down on the ground. I am not flying. God damn it. And now it's broken. 
I, I am on the ground. Okay, now I'm not on the ground. Like, okay. Now can I? Yes, finally. Jeez. Okay, it's a bit buggy when transforming back into a human when you fly when you're flying because it sometimes thinks you're flying when you're not. Uh, already killed a goat. I'm a goat. I right click and nothing happens. You can at least play a random horn sound effect for when you right click or choose a horn sound effect to play when you right click. Come on. I, mean, I guess I would be better for like a pillager. So there's a guardian. Some. Uh, oh, ah, guardian. Come back here, yo! Oh, I just barely survived the hit. Ah, uh, wrong one. Guardian, guardian, there we are. Oh, so both are in here. The, uh, the invisibility and water breathing and right click doesn't do anything. And if I some zombie, uh, now the zombie doesn't get a hand when attacking me. So yeah, this is pretty much pointless unless you want to swim. Good. And then uh, there's bear. Uh, once for that, so summon a hoglin. You can, uh, oh. Uh, hoglin, 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 here we go. You can do regular or zombified. And you get fire resistance and speed. We're going to do one with regen right now. Uh, next up is the Iron Golem. I'm going to put my arm on for this one. Some Iron. Boom. So if I do here, I in Golem. You get health boost. Okay, let's compare this to the uh to the morph golem and iron golem. Where oh, where is he? Iron gas go. There we go, iron golem. You get an extra row of hearts, you get strength, but you get regen five. Health boost, strength 5, and you do get slowness 5. When you stood still, when you're running you don't, but when you stood still you're or just walking you get slowness, but if you're running you don't get slowness. And this is way better than the, the uh, morph ring. Iron Golem. Next up is the llama. I've killed a llama, yeah. So you can get brown, green, grey, white. Hey, which one did I kill then? If it wasn't the trading llama. Was it, ah, did it count as the brown llama? No. All of them are greyed out. Oh wait, I guess it's, I guess it doesn't count. Some llama. But, oh. Stab, stab. So we have the llama. We have the green llama. If I right click, it does nothing, and I just get slowness for some reason. That's what we're seeing. Uh, with the more golden one, you can shoot spit if you right click. Next up is a magma cube. Magma cube. You dumb it. Heat magma cubes. Uh, 
The only way they're not attacking me now. Did before. Oh, is it not attacking me because I'm a la transforming a llama and if I go to player... Okay, that is something they, this has over the Morph Gauntlet, is that if you're transformed, the uh, mobs don't see you as a player, they see you as that mob, I suppose. Which is cool. Uh, so yeah, Magma Cube. You get small, medium, and large. You have jump boost and fire resistance and slowness. Can I jump up two blocks? Yeah, two blocks is the minimum that you should. Wait, did I say three blocks should be the minimum or two blocks? Uh, yeah, the minimum should be two, not three. Uh, if I made that mistake, I could have made that mistake earlier. I might have. Not, I can't remember. Uh, next up is the panda. So, um, stab. Now you're now I can just fall into a panda. Black panda. You get slowness and right clicking does nothing. So yeah, this one's pretty much pointless. Well, not pointless, you could use it to like hide and stuff. Power it. Some power. Some power it. Let's see. Power it. Uh, kill the grey power it. So you can fly. Get a bit slow. And if I right click, nothing happens. Okay, so what what they should have done is I make it so that if you right click, it plays one of the parrots like sound effects. Because the parrots copy like the last mob they hid. So you could have it so that it when you right click, it, it copies a, a it plays one of the mob sound effects that the parrots would play. Uh, Phantom. I'm gonna put my arm on, so I just need to watch it. Some ban. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Not that. Uh, yeah. And I'm stuck flying again, aren't I? Yep. There we go. So, let's go to Phantom. Get night vision and you can fly. Right, let's go back. Oh, God damn it. Let me be a player. I'm not flying. God damn it. There we go. Oh, well now I'm stuck in a hole. Yeah, the flying desk really needs to be uh, changed so that you can morph while flying. Because there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to morph while flying. Except for like, you'll probably like die from falling from a high place, but that's your own fault. Like, uh, uh, there's no reason why you shouldn't allow you to morph while flying. Uh oh, way, long way. Anyway, right, next up is I said I'm not gonna go through all these cards again this because it's probably just gonna take a while, way too long. So I'm gonna just take a look at a couple that I find that I think might be might have some cool. So I'm gonna take a look at the pillagers. So if I just get the armor on. 
some pill. I suppose these don't do anything. Right, pillager. Uh, if I transform into a pillager... Where is the pillager? Oh yeah, there's quite grey, so it's hard to see. You can also transform into Vindicator, Evoker, and Ravager. But with this, if I right click, right clicking does nothing, uh, so do I have a effect from it? So right clicking doesn't do anything. Uh, some ev. Oh. Is it ever can yeah, okay. So that let's try the evoker. Does the evoker do anything? Oh yeah, if I right click it summons those. Uh, with a bit of delay, so there's, these are going to be really difficult to aim. Oh my god. There we go, I've got the bunny. Yeah, that's going to be real difficult to aim. If I summon... Uh, let me just test. So if I summon another... Evoker, are you going to attack me? You're not. And if I write... Oh. Stand, stand still. If I right click at this, you're yeah, still not attacking me. And I hit you and you're dead. Yeah. So it's pretty much, there are good things about it and there's bad things about it. Like, uh, the not having to replace your helmet is good, but the bad, there's some, like, the flying's bad. But it's also good that the hostile mobs don't attack you. Uh, there are and like some mobs don't have as good abilities as uh, uh, in the of gauntlet. And the, yeah, well, the flying's bit of give and take. I like that you uh, aren't constantly falling because in the morph golden one, you if you're not going up, then you're going to be going down. So I like that you can that you can hover in place, but I don't like how you have to look up and down to fly. I don't know why they can make it so. Oh, press press space to go up and shift to go down. And also that uh, causes problems with uh, the whole um, what you call it. Uh, the whole like transforming when the, you know because it creates problem when trying to transform back into a human. Oh, uh... no, he's off already. God damn it, why did you have to go into the lava? Tip it. At E. Yeah, there, there. Oh, he teleported literally everything. That's not good. I thought you would only try teleport everything in the never. Why was everything in the overworld still loaded? I guess I killed the river. So. Uh, but that's not good. Why did it teleport everything in the overworld? Now, yep, they're all gone. Damn it! Oh, 
That's annoying. Uh, but did I at least get kill the river? How did I not kill the river? Okay, this time I'm going to summon it at the top of the nether. So the river died, but I just don't know how it died. Get back here, you. There we go. So now if I... I click, shift, um, shift, why is it not working? Oh, and I lost my hole. To help. Does right clicking not work? On the anyway, teleport. And I'm not player teleport. Teleporter. Boom. There we go. Right, shift right click. With a. So if I. No, Lily! If I right click. Yeah, I shoot. How did that not hit? That was right next to it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's this point. No. Shoot. The. No. Mm. Yeah. The explosion. Oh, there we go. I got it. But the explosion radius is so small. It's really difficult to land a hit. I am not flying! Uh, let's see what potion effects you get from the. Hold on. One, two, three. No. Three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. How did I fly your balls? Yeah, I really don't like the flying in this. Uh, hold on. It is a bad. Yeah, no. Honestly, I'd I'd probably still go with the morph gauntlet because it it has more. While it doesn't have every mob that's currently in Minecraft, because for some reason it's not been updated in a while. Um, this. Uh, that, this add-on just... Yeah, there's, the flying's bad. Oh, for, for, why can't I just transform back into a hero man? I'm like, no, I'm just like one block off the ground. Oh, fine, finally, human, there we go. Yeah, uh, it's the both going like the flying's that... Uh, while the helmet can... Uh, uh, it's replacing the helmet can cause some bugs. I'd rather have have that than um this than this. Yeah, I'd rather use a morph gauntlet over the morph bracelet. Uh, well, yeah, there's both of them could take from each other. Like the morph gauntlet should definitely make it so that uh, uh you know if it, when you transform hostile mobs, uh, other mobs see you as that mob, and the dirt, and you know removing that and I use it remo not. Not having the helmet uh, uh, being removed to transform you, and the morph ring should definitely take uh, from the morph gauntlet and add more uh, abilities and uh, uh, fix the flying. Make it so that you fly up with space, down with shift. Like both of them, should do that. Like, come on, and make it so that you uh, fly faster because the flying, at least with like the Ender Dragon and the Wither, because flying is a bit true otherwise but yeah hope you guys all did enjoy this comparison video i hope to see you guys in the next video and bye bye